me i think of myself as like like obviously like the jack dempsey like, right like a like a mauler like i'm not really in there to to be like skillful and show the people these like perfect skills like i'm just trying to like kill the guy get your tickets for saturday's ryan rosicki fight at the emira center because unless you're willing to travel i think this might be the last fight you see in cape breton until he loses a world championship match do you want to know why Hi, I'm Joe Ward of Boxer Shorts Media, and if you're interested in boxing and local self-described delinquent and street fighter turned professional brawler, Ryan Rosicki, then it's probably your last chance to watch him live here in Cape Breton, unless you're willing to book plane tickets straight out of Halifax. Now, this could be a multi-million dollar fight for Rosicki, and not because he's cashing that kind of check yet. If he does get a big pay-per-view championship match, after this one, that money isn't won in the next fight. It's won when the contract is signed and locked in before the fight. He doesn't even need to win it. But such a contract doesn't get signed at all unless he wins fights like this next one with Duradola. This is his million dollar fight and I'll give you my conclusive prediction on how this one will end in just a minute. Now, in case you didn't know, the WBC recently ranked Rizicki number one as cruiserweight, and that ranking unlocks him the chance to fight for the WBC final eliminator. If he wins this one, he'll become the mandatory challenger for WBC champion Noel McCallion, who is 27 and two with 15 knockouts. Maybe winning this fight might not be a 100% guarantee of a million dollar paycheck for the next one, but it should provide a huge boost in that direction. Although Noel McCallion isn't a household name, if there was any way to get that fight onto a pay-per-view undercard, especially if it was in Saudi Arabia, his take-home pay should be beyond anything he's earned so far along the way. And that's why sport washing works. Those paydays are not something mere mortals can typically turn down. We can object to it, but only for as long as it isn't our name written on the check. Rizicki just needs to make sure he knows how to address the crown prince. Unfortunately for local boxing fans, once he unlocks these bigger title fights, future matches won't be a fit with a small local market like ours here in the CBRM, even though he remains a big draw here and he can definitely sell tickets. Now keep in mind, rizicki has been building up scar tissue and taking the toll of absorbing inhuman amounts of punishment on his way to securing his own knockout. It's time to lock down the kind of money that took the fictional Rocky and the real Stallone from a knockaround guy to a dude with a mansion and a robot. I feel like I'm getting ready to go on a little big fight or something. Watch this. If I were Rizicki, I'd settle for a Roomba. Now they say in boxing, you're never supposed to look past an opponent, but I'm just a moderately inconsequential podcaster, and I'm here to bring you my box rec version of a ringside report a little bit preemptively. Now as for predictions, here it is. There will be absolutely no surprises this time around. God's hands or not, Duradola will be a 649 level lucky if he survives longer than Ryan's first 12 opponents and none of them heard the bell ring for the fourth round. This fight is a gift for Riziki, a highly experienced fighter that is fully primed, and I mean the chin, not the drink, to give him the kind of highlight reel knockout that says, who the hell's next? Now I'll go out on a limb and say, within two minutes of the second round, Riziki wins by knockout and perhaps a little mercy bestowed by the referee. Duradola is a 43-year-old fighter. He has massive experience in the ring, and he's fought the best. But, are you ready for the but? But he's been knocked out seven times, and he fails when he's put to the test. Although he's active, winning his last seven straight, they've been a bunch of old men in boxing years, just like him. Shot fighters, inexperienced, even undersized fighters throwing a few weeks of Whopper combos onto their bodies in order to jump up to cruiserweight. Richard Riakpour was the last fighter to break him. At 43 years old, Rizicki will retire him completely from competitive matches. It's unlikely he'll ever compete outside of Nigeria again, primarily taking matches to test young fighters before watching them move on. But don't skip this fight if you like fights. Go have a few drinks and watch Rizicki do what's in his DNA. He's never tried to tell us anything other than what he is, well, at least for a minute. He appreciates the sweet science but he was raised in the Hurt Game, and that's what you go to see. And this is probably the last time you'll get to hear those thuds from inside a local arena coming from Riziki. As a plus, Three Lions Promotions always puts on a great card with some tough fights. 
At 28 years old, with scar tissue that opens up, Rosicki has to put the pedal down and make some money Dempsey style. Oh, and by the way, the knockout will be a headshot, probably coming from a left hook. Duradola can't defend it and doesn't have the legs to stay up after it. Um, Duradola doesn't say, oh, God, left hook. And Rizicki and his team, well, they know exactly how to take him out quickly and they'll press for it. Winning late or winning by decision isn't what they need in this one. To make sure you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes, subscribe now to Boxer Shorts Media via your choice of YouTube or Facebook. Please hang up and try again.